Okay. Okay. So we are at the Sabati factory, which is with my friend Manuela Sabati, the CEO of the company, and he's going to show us something very interesting, how a hammer forged barrel is made. This is something that you have never seen before, I think. So please come, follow me, and we'll see how this rifle is done. The raw material arrives in the factory as long circular profile iron. The factory stores huge quantities, sometimes one, two years of stock, to secure continuous production. The raw material is already hardened steel, as it is not possible to harden the metal after the hammer forging process. As if it was done so, the barrels would bend. The process starts with cutting the solid bars into desired length. However, this length is not the same as the length of the future barrel. The completed barrel will be longer than the pieces cut here. The next step of production is drilling the hole in the solid bars. The factory uses a special drill for this purpose. The tip is carbide and one section is missing from the tool. This section allows the oil and the spill to flow out from the hole during the drilling process. The company has several of these drilling machines that are capable of preparing six barrels at the same time. The size of the hole is always bigger than the groove-to-groove -groove diameter of the future bore. These are the reamers of the next step. This process reams the holes to the exact desired diameter. This helps in removing the small inadequacies of the drilling process and it is preparing the hole for the honing and polishing. The reaming is also made on machines designed for four or more barrels. In this case, they are just preparing the bar for hammering. The next station is a CNC control turning machine that prepares the future barrel breech for the hammer forging machine. Then the barrel is honed mirror bright on the outside and in the inside as well. This is a very important step as the very fine surface in the grooves and on the lens is a key factor in accuracy. You can have an idea of how many caliber, different caliber we manufacture. And also here. The mandrel itself is the very heart of the forging machine. This is the hard steel core that holds the negative image of the future rifling. This is the form that the barrel is hammered on. The precisity of the mandrel is one key factor of making an accurate bore. Each mandrels are manufactured individually for the specific caliber, specific groove number, rifling twist and rifling depth. The Sabati factory has been using cold forging technology for many years. They have state-of-the-art robotics for this purpose, but it is easier to view the process first on their old machines. Tell this please once more. The barrel is pressed against the mandrel and deform the inside surface in order to become exactly like the mandrel is. On the mandrel you find the rifling that you want to impress in the, in the bore. The hammering machine has four giant hammers that compress the bore with millions of hits during the process. These hammers are replaceable to make exactly the desired outer diameter. The old machine can only make barrels with the parallel walls, but the new ones are capable of unique forms as well. The process seems simple. The bore is placed into the machine and the mandrel is pushed inside the drilled, reamed, honed hole. During the hammering, the barrel rotates, so the outer diameter will be even and the stress put into the metal will be divided equally to every spot. An advantage of the hammer forged barrel is that the stress is pointing in the direction of the axis of the bore and this increases the durability of the compressed metal. The machine is only working on a few centimeter section of the bore.
When the barrel is ready, it will be significantly longer than the starting piece. At this stage, all barrels are checked with cogs and endoscopes to see if there are any problems on the surface. An advantage of this method is that the barrel becomes very strong during the process, and the accuracy of the ready piece is very good. Sabati also has a CNC controlled robotics aided hammer forging machines in the factory. What you see here now is the top class of this type of rifling method. The key advantages of this process are the accuracy and the productivity. You can check on the CNC all the dimension you need. The process starts with cleaning the surface of the mandrel. If any spill is present on the surface it will be impressed into the metal, so it is essential to clean it completely. Now the robot handles the barrel blank and places it into the lubricator to lubricate the inside. And this is the start of the hammering process. The CNC controlled machine is capable of forming any outer surface according to the programming and it is also capable of forging the chamber simultaneously when the right hand is made. Now the rotating barrel is pushed through the hammers. These are nearly the same principles like the ones you saw before at the older machine. And when one barrel is ready, the next is prepared for the process again. You can clearly see now how the outer surface and length of the barrel change during the process. The barrel is of course not ready at this stage to be built in a rifle. It will need some more time on CNC controlled turning machines and after turning it will be straightened several times before screwing it into a frame. The dimensions of the lens and the grooves are quickly checked with go no go gogs with one hundredth of a millimeter tolerance. You see the go? It's no go. So this is between the lens and between the grooves. And this is the the lens. Go. No 
Ricardo. Not everything is done on CNC machines. In fact, making a fine firearm needs a good amount of skilled handwork even today. And this is something that adds to the value of the gun. Sabati is a nearly 100 years old company with centuries of gun making traditions, with enormous knowledge in firearms industry. There are continuous arguments which rifling method is the best, broach rifling, hammer forged rifling, baton rifling or the electrochemical methods. Well, I'm not the one to decide, but one thing for sure, everything depends on the perception of quality of the maker. But what you saw here today at the Sabati factory is really the state-of-the-art technology of today's firearms making.